I'm excited to welcome you to the absolute best video on null and undefined in JavaScript you'll find anywhere on YouTube. In this video, I cover everything you need to know in detail and use interactive animations, beautiful illustrations, and professional editing to ensure you remain engaged in order to maximize your learning. So let's jump in. All right, so we're gonna be looking at the absence of a value primitives. In addition to numbers, strings, and booleans, there are two more primitive values that represents the absence of a value. So we already know the three most common primitive values. They are number, like 45, string, which are characters of text, enclosed by single or double quotation marks, like hello, and a boolean, which is a logical primitive and is either true or false. Number, string, and boolean are primitive values that are actual values. We then have these two other kind of primitive values, which represents the absence of a value. They are null, which is just null, N-U-L-L, -L, and undefined, which is just undefined. These values are kind of similar to Boolean, true and false, in that they're just a word. Again, do not confuse these with strings. Null and undefined are values themselves, but they represent the absence of a value. We saw undefined in the previous video, where we initialized a variable BMI category, but didn't give it a value. When we tried to reach for this value inside the console, we got back undefined. Undefined is a primitive value, just like a number and a string, but it's there to represent the absence of a value, which kind of makes sense. At the moment, BMI category doesn't actually have a value. So let's take a look at null and undefined in more detail. Null and undefined have different purposes. I'm gonna be summarizing it in this table here. We'll be looking at a description of them, the usage of them, how they're defined, and an example. Let's start with undefined. We get undefined when we have a variable declared but not defined. Like we just saw earlier, when we initialize a variable but don't give it a value. So the usage of undefined is its output in the console when a variable has no assigned value. In terms of how it's defined, it happens automatically if a variable has no value assigned. It's not like we're giving a variable an undefined value. What's happening is we're trying to access the value of a variable and we're getting back its undefined. An example of this is when we declare a variable like this, let middle name. This variable exists, but we haven't given it a value yet. Now, just a small note with undefined, it does occur in other places inside JavaScript. At the moment, we're just going to see it in the context of variables when we try access a variable that has no assigned value but we're gonna see later that undefined crops up in other places in JavaScript when we're trying to access values. So let's take a look at undefined in action. We have our EasyJet web page, and if we declared all our variables like this, where they're initially defined but have no value, if we tried to access the value of these variables, we would get back undefined. Now, in reality, it is not done like this. Instead, we use a more complex structure called an object, which we'll be looking at later. But with the knowledge you have now, if I asked you to initially declare some variables for this application, but don't give them any values, you would do it like this. And if you tried to access the value of those variables, you would get back undefined. Okay, let's now look at null. Null represents the intentional absence of a value. Its usage is it's assigned on purpose to indicate a variable has no value. And in terms of how it's defined, it's set by the developer on purpose. It's different to undefined in that as a developer, we actually want to set some values to null. Undefined is all about trying to access a value in a variable and being told that the variable has no value. It's different to null where we specifically as a developer want to say that this variable doesn't actually have a value. In terms of an example, we could let middle name equal null. The variable is purposely set to be empty. So with undefined, what's happening there is we're initializing the variable and when trying to access it, we get back undefined. Whereas with null, we are purposely setting its value to null. That is to represent that the variable middle name doesn't have a primitive value like a number, string, or boolean. Its value is null, which represents the absence of a value. That can be a bit confusing because while null is a primitive value, it's there to represent the absence of a value like a number, string, or boolean. So let's take a look at null in action. On the EasyJet web page, when I'm filling out the form about my account details, for me, it would look like this. Now you can see address line two is optional. And because of this, we would set its value to null. On the web applications database for EasyJet, for any user account, they are going to store the address line two. 
However, for a lot of people, they don't have an address line too. So this is an example of where you'll want to set the value to null. This is very different to undefined, where we were initializing variables to be used later on in our program, and all we were doing was trying to access them, but there was no value, so we got back undefined. Whereas in this example, we do want address line 2 stored on every single user that signs up to EasyJet. But as the user completes this form, and they leave out address line 2, which is optional, we want to be able to say that their address line 2 doesn't have a value, because they have no address line 2. So to do that as a developer, we specifically set the address line 2 value to null. So in a nutshell, undefined is about trying to access values from variables that don't yet have a value assigned to them, and null is about purposely setting the value of a variable to null to represent that the variable doesn't actually have a value. All right, to wrap up the theory of this video, I'm going to be adding to a previous summary card data types. I'm going to extend the primitive values and add in the two primitive values we looked at now, which we know are both primitive values that represent the absence of a value. We looked at null, which we as developers set to variables to represent they have no value. And in JavaScript, we use the word null. And we have undefined, which we see when we try access a variable that has no value. The variable is undefined. And in JavaScript, it looks like this. Now that you've mastered the theory so far in this video, it's important to understand how we can apply it in a real world project. If you haven't been following along in other parts before this, I recommend you download the starter files in the description below and code along with me. This project is part of my JavaScript full course. You can join me for free on YouTube by clicking the video appearing in the top right now. So jumping back into our project, let's discuss the use of undefined and null. Now in our project, we have declared this variable BMI category. If I open up DevTools and go to the console and try access this value BMI category, as a small note, I can just hit tab to autocomplete the name of the variable. If I hit enter, I get back undefined. This is a primitive value and is telling us that the variable BML category has no value. By doing this in the console, typing BMI category, we're trying to access the value of this variable, but it has no value assigned to it, so we just get back undefined, which is a primitive value. Now, the way I've set this project up is that I have initialized the variable BMI category. I've done this because I will later be giving this variable a value in our code. It wouldn't make sense to set this variable to null. This is specifically signaling that this variable BMI category doesn't have a value. That's not what I want to be doing. I do want this variable to have a value. I just don't want it to have a value right now. So let me show you where you could use null. Let's say this application took in the user's name. We would have something like let first name equal Daniel let last name equal brand, and I don't have a middle name, so we would have let middle name equal null. I don't have a middle name, and I don't ever plan on having a middle name, so my middle name will always be null. It's not like I need to initialize this variable, because later I will have a middle name. I don't have a middle name, but other people do. So for our application, we are collecting first name, last name, and middle name, but for people that don't, we still need to put a value but the value is null. The user doesn't have a middle name. So I hope that's able to highlight the difference between undefined and null. For undefined, we're never going to set it inside our code here. We just get it back in the console when we try access a variable that has no value assigned to it. Whereas null is a value we actually use inside our script when we want to specifically signal that a variable doesn't have a value. If you've enjoyed this style of teaching and are looking at mastering JavaScript, you can join me in my JavaScript full course, which is available for free on my channel. The course is designed for complete beginners and covers everything you need to know to code JavaScript at a professional level. In the course, you'll experience the same high quality teaching and build a whole range of real life projects from scratch. Join me today and also make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop with new releases. See you in the JavaScript full course.